Hey everybody, it's a crazy fan English time. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, good morning guys. It's currently 5.55 a.m. in the morning. And here we are again a year later from last year's PS5 Sony press conference. And again, obviously, we're here. We're here to celebrate gaming. And what a week it's been since this conference was announced. <laughs> um... I will say that, you know, this is such an exciting event and a lot of people are very excited, you know, uh, you know, COVID's been shit and just, you know, it's been really sucky lately. And so I, I remember finding out and I was like, you know what, I'm going to wake up early and watch it just like last year, um, but actually, you know, get dolled up, not be like t half asleep when waking up and then going and doing it. But anyway, enough of that. We're here for the PS5 PlayStation conference and... I'm super excited, as well as the internet. <laughs> this thing has been trending almost for every single day for the past week, at least one point during time, and just like, the power of gaming. <laughs> um, I wanted to also say like, um, my predictions, I posted them last night, and I'm super stoked. I'm so excited, and you guys know already, and if you saw last year's video, you would know what I'm excited for this year. God of War is a special game in my heart, and if you guys saw last year, I got freaking psyched over a logo. So, you can imagine if anything's gonna pop up today, I'm gonna freak the f living hell out. <laughs> and anything else, I'm gonna obviously be just really happy to see. A lot of people are guessing that there's gonna be some new titles, which is good, because obviously with the PlayStation 5, there's obviously gonna be new games coming out. And, you know, again... I'm so excited for what this press conference could be like and what possibility there is. A lot of people are very excited. I'm excited. So yeah, we're just going to jump straight into watching this. And yeah, <sighs> I'm, yeah, I'm super stoked. <laughs> but before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video games, movies and TV shows. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. It's brand new content. So without further ado... Let's look at some new and amazing games. Nice. Okay, what are they opening with? <gasps> A new... Peace is a lie. That is what the Sith believe. They promised power. Battlefront? Now they wield it. Or is it something else? Legend remade for PS5. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. I'm happy about that. Did not expect that at all. <laughs> Has returned! <laughs> Fools. Your party of heroes can't stop me. <laughs> it's like based off of D&D. &D. This is sick. Oh, I'm guessing this is multiplayer. Oh my god, I love this. This looks sick. I actually want to play this with my friends. We played the Borderlands games together, so to play this it would be lots of fun. Oh my god. Do you know, where are there guns in the fantasy world? And I am just so glad you asked because shut up your face and get shooting! <laughs> Tiny Tina, that's her name, isn't No. Yeah, Tiny Tina? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I love that there's like fantasy characters you can play. That's sick. I love that. And loot! <laughs> oh! Nice. 
nice. I approve. <laughs> oh, that's sick. You ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! Tina, oh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm excited for that because that is a fun multiplayer game. Borderlands is one of my favorite games. I haven't played Borderlands 3, but Borderlands 1 and 2, they were really good games. <gasps> is this. Oh! Every time Square Enix appears, I'm like, Final Fantasy? <laughs> we are getting out of the city. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. No more fights. Green air. Bright skies. Right. Oh! Looks beautiful. Asuka. Who's there? Well, technically not works. Well, not you of course, anyway. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself. Show myself, I've shown. Where are you? Right here, at the end of your arm. Oh, hello, yes. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. I just moose it with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I'll This looks sick. I do magic. Kill jacked up beast. I'll probably fly next. Dude. The, the landscapes. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. Who's playing that? Oh, full spoken. They actually have a title for it now. I remember they said like working title, la la la. No name for a demon. I am the one you seek, the one and only Tanta Sila. Oh, oh. Spring twenty twenty two. That looks sick though. Like that's like elemental fantasy shit that I'm into. I want it. Damn, twenty dude. They they're bringing the dates out tonight. <laughs> Damn, they really. This is the thing. When everyone found out that PlayStation was holding a conference after a whole year of being silent, it means like it's a big deal. Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. Which ones? The matriarch wishes to share it with you. United in the light of belief, all suffering, all grief will end. Let's investigate for you. We 
sort of thing where you can like sort of like RPG like you can swap characters no I don't think so I think you are playing as Peter Quill <gasps> Mantis! You have proven yourselves unworthy. oh looking good looking good that was completely intentional the Milano's on her way <laughs> oh, Groot. Groot being a good friend. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Why was that released in such small font? Put it in bigger font. <laughs> oh, my heart. I was thinking. Oh. Dude, the jump my heart did in Insomniac, I was like, Spider-Man?! <laughs> was it a new IP? Oh no, wait. No, I was gonna say Days Gone. <gasps> that shut me up real quick! <laughs> In development, heck to ZS. <gasps> Wait, oh no! For a second, I was like, "Dead devil, no." For as long as I can remember, I have looked for an equal. Oh. One. <gasps> oh no! Is this the Marvel Spider-Man, not in some My boys. Who could even beat me? That's all I found. Is this no! Is this Spider Man 2? Will one of you finally give me what I desire? Venom! Well, a dead man wouldn't 
<gasps> There's civilization! More civilization! <gasps> Dude! Oh my god! Heck yeah! Give it to me! Because this deserves the loudness. Oh my god! <gasps> the summon animal for Atreus? Oh my god! Oh my god, it is called Ragnarok. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> we summoned it! Oh wait, what? Dude, oh my god. Good Okay, before we jump into, we'll jump into the new content in a minute, but the fact that we got, like, <laughs> we got, like, a Spider-Man, um, reveal, we got a God of War reveal, we got a Wolverine reveal, I am so freaking excited for that. And the fact that Insomniac were like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna say this, this is a big move, like, 2023 is when we're getting Spider-Man. I love that they have the confidence, because... That's why I was like, I believe Insomniac will show something. Because, dude, they're on a roll. They're literally wizards. They're on the same level as Naughty Dog, or even better, to a certain point. Like, they've, like, thrown out three games. They remastered Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and then they did um, Ratchet and & Clank. And I was like, if they can do that, I reckon that they're going to at least announce a tease of Spider-Man, you know, 2. Thank the Lord they did. <laughs> I was so happy because I was like, oh, wait, it's probably like, you know, like I thought it was going to be like some, like they're getting added to another game to just be like multiplayer fighting and just like they're going to be in that. But the fact that they're like it, like that was them in, uh, in action. <laughs> like I'm so excited for that game, Spider-Man. But let's talk about God of War. Ragnarok. It's obviously called God of War Ragnarok. What else is it going to be called? Uh, I love it. It's like, and I knew that this was going to sort of be like E3 2016, where they just reveal a gameplay trailer and just show what's going to happen. It looks phenomenal. And I can see people in the chat being like, God, there's not a lot for God of War. But that's because they're like keeping it a secret. Because like, if they're going to show all the secrets... Like, they're giving it away. Like, why would they? Like, why would they show, like, all the, like, bad parts of it? Like, it's fine. But God of War looks absolutely amazing. Like, it still has that essence of, like, the original God of War. Well, not the original, but the one we got in 2018. And that's what I love. Like, it looks absolutely beautiful and amazing. And I cannot wait to play it. And, like, there's going to be so much more to explore in Midgar, um, and just see, like, everything, and then Thor, and then we're gonna have the war with Asgard, and then, oh, dude, just uh, the whole thing with Atreus and, <laughs> and Kratos being, like, like, l like, talk as a general, not as a father, mm, like, this is, like, Atreus going through his teenage phase, you know, that phase where we fight with our parents, <laughs> so, so good, and just, and just, the fact that they're going for Tia, like, that, we'll probably do another video about God of War later, but, oh my Jesus Lord, so good, and just, 
cannot wait for that. And the Wolverine thing, that shut me up real quick. Because I was like, oh my god, I love Wolverine so much. And yeah, if, if there's like a solo game with him coming out, I'm totally going to buy it. Because it's, it's Wolverine. It's one of my favorite characters. And just, yeah, amazing. Um, with the new titles, they all look absolutely amazing. Um, with the new, I think it was, what was it called? Um... Oh, Knights of the Old Republic remake. I've heard lots of things from about this, especially from Alex and Mitch. If you guys are familiar with my YouTube channel, you guys will know who those guys are. Um, we do a podcast about Star Wars and stuff. Um, and yeah, they've told me so many things about this game, but it's very old and they were like, it's probably, you know, it's not going to be like, you know, you can't really play it nowadays because it's a very old game. The fact that they're remaking it, I'm going to buy it. It looks so good. I am very interested in Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. So good. And just, again, it gives me, like, Borderlands, like, gives me such reminiscent feels. Because that was when me and my friends first started hanging out. We played Borderlands together. We'd be like, hey, you up for a game of Borderlands or something like that? You know, that was the deal. And I absolutely love Borderlands. It's so good. And so, and also the fact that that's mixed with D&D plus guns. That's my sort of deal. <laughs> Now, Forspoken, another game that I'm very interested in. Because if you guys already know, I'm obsessed with, like, fantasy stuff. And it's very, like, beautiful. It's a beautiful game. Elemental stuff, I love as well. So, like, she's got elemental powers. She can teleport and all that stuff. Amazing. And it seems like, just unintentionally, she got teleported to this fantasy realm. I love that. That's just, like, every book where you're just, like, you know, the character's walking down the street and then, boom, they've, like, entered this fantasy world out of nowhere. The portal closes and they just have to make their way through that world. I love that. And that's just, like, it's so good because it's, like, you're going through this new world sort of, like, with the character. So I love that. And when it comes out, and I don't... I, no, it didn't get a release date, no. But um, definitely going to be playing that when that comes out because it looks amazing. Guardians of the Galaxy did look interesting. I'm not really interested in in terms of the Square Enix Marvel games just because with the Avengers, I, I haven't played it yet. And, like, you know, I have heard, like, up and down things about it even though I probably should play it instead of listening to other people before I, you know, judge it. Um... So I'm definitely going to be checking that out in my own time. But Guardians of the Galaxy, it does look good. But again, I want to play the first um, Avengers and then try this out later on in time. But yeah, it looks good. It looks The graphics look good. Um, I want to look at the voice actors because like some of them sound familiar. But I do love the designs for the characters. Peter Quill, you know, I will say Chris Pratt, I think, has stolen my heart for the design of just what he looks like. But it looks good and the voice suited him very well. Um, but yeah, I want to look up the cast because it, it looks really good. Now, I think it's, I'm not, I'm not, I apologize if I said wrong. I think it's Tish, Chia, Chia? I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I'm very excited for that. It just looks like such a wholesome, beautiful game that looks like a lot of fun and just something that you play on your downtime. I would really like to play it. Um, and I love that, you know, at these events, a lot of people are thinking like the big AAA games will be announced, but I love that this small, beautiful, cute game is being announced. Like, I love that. And it looks so good as well. Just, I love, it reminds me a lot of Rhyme, and I haven't finished playing that, but it's a really good game. And so, it reminds me a lot of that, and I, I would really like to try it out when it comes out, and I'm excited for Chia. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with what we've got today um in terms of just the content it's really good and just yeah oh there's an interview for the god of war thing but just anyway it looks absolutely amazing and just a car uh, dude i'm so happy like at least two of my biggest like requests were like fulfilled because i was thinking sort of like what happened last year i was like what happens to god of war last year will be what happens this year for spider-man so it technically did so I'm very, very excited about that. And just like Spider-Man and God of War, just two of my favorite games. And like, I cannot wait for like when they get released because I'm going to go hype. <laughs> I will say I'm very surprised. And a lot of people in the chat are actually really surprised. Hogwarts Legacy has not been talked about at all since it's like reveal, which is very surprising. I would have thought like we would have gotten the second trailer by now or even in this sort of event or even in a past state of play, but we've got nothing and it's very surprising and just, I guess a little bit of a letdown in terms of that, whether it's like, you know, 
I guess it's probably because of developmental reasons. Um, they've obviously not shown anything, which is fair enough. Totally okay. But at the same time, if it's getting postponed, because it did say, well, it didn't say, uh, did it say 2021? I don't think it did. But if it did, I'm surprised that it hasn't been delayed. Or I think they're just, because I was thinking like, it's going to be like a quick reveal in terms of like, um, the sort of like what happened before and then they just showed a release date. I was like, oh yeah, that'll be cool. Sort of like what they did with Horizon last um, state of play or whatever the meeting was last time. So, um, it's a bit of a surprise. And also, where's Final Fantasy 16? Because <laughs> that there's been nothing on that either. Um, and a lot of people were sort of like skeptical about it last year, especially because they showed PC footage instead of PlayStation footage. So they were like, um, is this actually going to be what it looks like on the PlayStation? Is it going to look very, very different? Or is it going to be, you know, the same quality that we got last year? So a lot of people are a little bit skeptical about that. I am shocked that there was nothing about that. Um... But yeah, I hope that we get something on those two games, at least in the next couple of months. Um, obviously, it probably won't happen at another conference, but it's still pretty huge. And I'm, yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so, like, happy right now. I've been fulfilled, just my heart. Like, everything feels good. And just, yeah. <gasps> I'm gonna have to finish here because otherwise I'm gonna rant. But uh, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the PlayStation Showcase for 2021. What did you guys think? Was it a win or a lose? I personally think it was a win. There obviously were games for everybody to sink their teeth into, which is really great to see. Like obviously people are like, give us the big titles that you know there are big, big fan bases for. But I love that they're introducing like other games into these big conferences and just games that can fit for everybody. It's not it's not for everyone, but there's something for everyone at least. And I like that. But anyway, guys, <laughs> again, Spider-Man and God of War. I am a very happy woman, and I, again, Knights of the Old Republic I'm very excited for, and all the other games I mentioned. There are some games that I wasn't really into. I was like, eh, it's alright. But dude, I'm super excited for the future of PlayStation. It's looking bright. Um, as long as we get more content that is wholesome and good. So, yeah. Oh my god. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy figure out. Woo!